How much did BTEC NIDS cost? An education and poor tyrannids. Welcome back to The Kieran Show. It's me, Kieran, him, Kieran, and we're looking at Gene Silicolt. Are you ready? Mm. Whee! Um, B-Tech Nids. B-Tech Nids. Um, yeah, so the phone Nids are, are here with their brand new book. Um, if you remember rightly, Gene Silicolt were the boogeyman at the beginning of 10th edition. Um, and yeah, it's taken quite a long time. Been lots of ups and downs with them. Well, they ruined the Combat Patrol. Just put that out there now. Yeah, uh, that wasn't... That was a real fun one to navigate. Um, we'll talk about that. So this is obviously uh, following on with our How Much Does That Army Cost series um, throughout 10th edition that we are jumping in uh, as per the new Codex launches. So we've also got Sisters of Battle coming up. Sisters, sisters are next. Um, Which you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for that. Yeah, jealous. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was given Jane Steel Colts. I told you, you could have had the sisters one if you can going to edit it. Ugh, it's the worst. Um, <laughs> it's giving my, yeah. my excuse for everything, win every argument now. Just, the sh just such a shame. Yeah, so the, this will be accurate as of Munich Tour Man, is it 1.11? And also the price rises. Cannot yes. stress that enough. Um, I was... on. A, I felt a bit sick. Guess how much a codex costs in Australia. So it, before it was like eighty dollars, if I remember correctly. How much is it now? No guess. Wild guess. One hundred and one. Oh, that's annoying. How close you had ninety-eight dollars for a book. You can learn how to play this really expensive game on the other side of the planet for a hundred dollars. I mean, we were told by somebody in the comments that it's two thousand dollars for a car. Ninety-eight dollars. Yes. For a book. $100. I mean, I like a book. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever paid a hundred quid for a book. Ever. It's not hundred pounds though. That's mm, it's still a hundred dollars. Well, to be fair, it's it, sh it should it's, be thirty-seven yeah, pounds. But, but even, it's really even, not. Even still, I, I'm in, I'm in a really weird position now with um, codexes. Even in the UK, like obviously we get all of our stuff third party anyway because of the discounts. Yeah, links down below. Um, but I think thirty-seven pound for a codex is a joke. Is an app just to play your army. I think it's crazy. But they're really pretty. That's so dumb. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm going to have a look, see how much the uh, Fancy Pants edition costs. £65. They used to be 50 Yeah, they did. It's just so tragic. And... Data cards are twenty pound fifty now. I feel like this is becoming a different video. Um, this is very becoming a different Gene video. Gene Sealer Colts. Um, I've been told. Um, I've listened to your comments. The the things have been heard. I'm not cheesing this. There are no two combat patrols. Mainly because this one is doo doo. Um, <laughs> I say, if but this I was, have heard you loud and clear. If I won't this be was the old Gene Sealer Colts combat patrol. Two for sure. Two two done. Two for sure. I. I will talk about how things are costed in this army uh, price-wise, um, because some of them I'm like, what? And it, yeah. Right, it's, kick it's us off. Fun. Sweet. First, Come up, first Come up patrol. <laughs> um, so no starting, off, no surprises there. starting off with a Jackal Alphas. Um, that is a sniper bloke on a motocross bike. He's 60 points. Great time. Uh, we, how much is a combat patrol... Now, a hundred pounds according to hundred pounds GRR, G, GRRRP sterling, hundred pounds, one hundred uh. pounds. Yeah, crazy. Ten acolyte hybrids. Um, are they the B tech nids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, hundred and fifty points, which is fine. Um, these come in boxes of five. Or on their own. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, an Achilles Ridge Runner. Very cool. Very uh, Rocket League, I think. No, <laughs> the, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Ridge Runner. The, the uh, Rock Grinder, I'm all about that. There are more of those to come. Um, but the Ridge Runner is just... It's B-Tech Nids. And lastly, there is a team of five Atalan Jackals. So four... Boring! Four on motocross bike, one on ATV. Boring. As you can tell... I wasn't jazzed about having two of these, especially when the- This is motocross the box. <laughs> well, what's really funny is that all of the value is in the hybrids in the Ridge Runner. 
And uh, would I you mean, ever run more than one mid runner though? I guess you would. I, I think it's quite... cool. I, I played a guy called Mikey at a guy, at a tournament a few years ago, and he had I think two, if I remember rightly. Um, and they just wreck face. It's like I guess because it's so quick as well, aren't they? Yeah, I mean they're a really fun army to play against, mainly because one, there's loads of them. Um, two, they're a nightmare. Um, and three, they hit really hard. They're like the epitome of glass cannon. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. going up against like a Mad Max squad. It is all very Mad Max in the GT the Colors line. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're really cool, um, but good grief. Uh, so that is 210, 285, uh, 375, 375 points for a combat patrol. For 100 quid. For 100 quid. I mean, it's never, none of, we say this every time, none of these are going to be as good as the Custards. No. But this is, this is awful. Duty. I think the sisters, the sisters one is going to be... I still think the Sisters one is better than this. Loads no, better. it's not. Really? Oh. Not even the same league. I don't know, I just like the Sisters. What's next? Um, what, are you, what are you buying that isn't cheesing it? Next up is an Abominant. An Abominant is one of the juiced up guys that goes with the Aberrants. I think he's got two heads morphing in from one head. Uh, either way, muscles on muscles, roid rage, very mad. Um, Looks like Kieran in the morning. Rude. 75 points, 20 quid. That's okay. Which is, which is fine. This, All of the well, there's only another one of these tiny characters, but twenty quid, and it's like fine. Um, I have gone very character heavy with this team. You have to because look at the state of it. You, ha but also th th that is the team you take as you're losing on on assassinate. But you take as many <laughs> characters as possible. Oh, they do all cool things with the pop out the ground. They they do so much cool stuff. Next up. What is it? Um, I didn't actually realise this box existed. It's a weird uh, so box, was, isn't it? It is. It's the Brood Coven. Oh. Is this one of... Was this... Someone in the comments correct me if I'm wrong. Is, was this box locked to something else? Is this another Thunderstrike Command? Is this another Heroes of the Chapter box where they're all stuck on one sprue? I'm not sure, but I actually don't mind because it's got a Magus, a Primus and a Patriarch. You mean a woman. Oh, that's, that's what woman. you called him. The woman. Um, so 44 pounds, that sounded really creepy, sorry, 44 pounds um, for a Magus, which is 50 points, Primus, which is 90, and a Patriarch, which is 85. And I was like... Mm. That's just a B-Tech Brood Lord. It, mm, yes and no. I think they're really cool, because for some reason they have sleeves. And I don't know who Gene, why Gene Steeler cults get clothes, but fine. It's when they've Gene stolen. Nice. Nice. Real nice. Um, are they clothes? I don't know. Yeah, because I've seen them well, all... Well, they're all based on... on they're, they're, they're supposed to be originally humans, aren't they? Like, uh, in they the lore or in the fluff. They're but, the but originally are they, peoples. But they're pure, strange gene stillers, so I don't really understand that... We should ask, Maybe they want to blend in. We should ask Luton. But if there's anybody in the comments that knows really, you know, the fluff about gene stiller cults, please let us know, because I think they're really cool, um, but I don't think I'd ever, ever own them, ever, because money. Um... So yeah, forty-four pounds uh, for the best part of two hundred and fifty-ish points um, of characters, which is fine. But I actually quite like it. Um, last up for the heroes is the Nexus. I had to put this in. Um, is it Nexus or Nexos? Ne it's an O. Nexus. Yeah, it's fine. Nexus is fine. Uh, he's the guy. <laughs> next on, next off. Next on, next off. <laughs> he's the guy with the, the the ring thing with the where he touches the buttons and the the. Glowy city thing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's the Star Wars hologram guy. Um, he, yeah, 60 points, 20 quid. I just liked it because he's cool. <laughs> just put him in because he's cool. I'm sure he does loads of stuff. I always see him in bat wraps and stuff, so I imagine he's important in some way. Dropping um, drop, drop some sick beats. Sick beats. Probably still thinks dubstep's cool. Mm, for sure. Nice Deadpool reference. Dutty, wa Dutty Webs. Dutty Webs. Deadpool's around the corner. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, next up. 10 Neophyte Hybrids. This is your bread and butter. Goon Squad. Um, the Goon Squad, the Goons. Um, these come with a million upgrades. You can stick a million weapons on them. So the people who yeah. play Gene Sealer Cults, Soz Hun, you're rolling tons of dice for tons of different weapons. Sucks for you, sucks for your opponent. Just have a fun time with it. Um, I've actually got two squads of these. Um, so combining 140 points and 68 pounds, which seems a bit heavy, but this is your bread and butter, which is actually what you got in the last combat patrol, if I remember rightly, because you you got five B Tech nids, ten goons, ten um, might have been twenty goons. I think it might have been twenty goons. I think you're right. But yeah, and a rock grinder. 
And the rock climbing. Yeah, that was it. The only thing, the only thing that I don't like about the Neophyte hybrids is because they look like ninety nine percent of every Scooby Doo villain ever. Mm. Put off the yeah, mask, yeah, and they all, they all look like them. Yeah, it's like the mining squad thing, isn't it? I do, I do really like it. I think I like the aesthetic, but yeah, I don't think I'd ever play it. Um, I've also added two Goliath trucks. So two Goliath trucks are. are they the rock grinders, or they're the the, the, the the variant. Hilariously, they all come in one kit. Park now. You can have that one for free. Um, Goliath truck, two of those, 170 points, eight, eight pounds. 170 points each or? No, absolutely not. Uh, what's half of 170? Quick maths. 85. 85, nailed it. Um, you beat me, but it's fine. Um, yeah, obviously the goons need to run around in their party buses. So very, very cool. So they, they, they're 40 pound each? Uh, yes, 40 yeah. pounds each. Um, the Aberrants are next. The Juice Squad, so the Abominant um, can run around Roid with men's. those guys. The Roid Men's. You can either put them in a single group of 10, which is hellish, because they deal some serious damage. Yeah, we just run away from them. They move really slow. They do. So you can either do it in a group of 10 or a group of 5. Uh, two groups of 5. Up to you, because I've included two boxes, and they come in boxes of 5 numbers. Um, that's 300 points. Or £56, pounds, yeah. which is the honestly the only slice of good value in this army. I've just um, seen what you've got next. <laughs> Hell yeah. Why? Hell yeah, baby. We've just um, done five minutes on why it's rubbish. Another Ridge Runner, because stonks and uh, shooty shoot vehicles. Boring. I just wanted another one. I, just... um, I was really hoping... I, you know what? When I was making this... Uh, do I say it? Yeah, I'll just say it now. It doesn't matter. We're here. Um... The Gene Steeler Colts need like a Primark style thing. There's nothing massive. They are missing a big. Kahuna. They're missing, they're, a, they're big missing a big Kahuna. They need like a kill rig, but for Gene Steeler Colts. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking? Like the mining for or uh, what do they have in? Ah, oh, what's it in June? The spice crawler, the thing that collects all the spice. They could use that for like the mining facility. Or like ornithopters or something. That would be really cool. You Obviously, want, you just I'm, want a June one. I, I just want. I just want June. <laughs> That's all I want. Um, but yeah, no, I just think they need a big Primark style mini. I don't think it has to be anything even like tyranny related or Genesis related. I just think it just needs to be a big vehicle. Um, they need a big vehicle rather than a big nid. I think. Yeah, <laughs> big nid sounds. Yeah, <laughs> sounds rubbish. Um, uh, yeah, so Achilles Ridge Runner, uh, seventy-five points, thirty-seven pound. As you can tell, just from that unit, that's where all the value is in the combat patrol box, so with the hybrids and the Ridge Runner. Either way, Ridge Runner, 75 points, 37 pounds. Um, going back to Team Goliath, two more Goliaths, this time they're rock, gr uh, rock grinders. So this is four of the same box. Four of the same box! <laughs> um, so 240 points, um, or 80 pounds. So collectively you're spending 160 pounds on Goliath kits. This is just such a stupid army. It's not stupid, it's good. And it's what they need. It's what they need. Can they not take a Lehman Russ? No. Not that I could see in no. the thing. Someone at Games Workshop hates fun. Mm. Imagine GC Decott's Bane Blade. I imagine you could just do that though, couldn't you? I would. If you had a Imperial Guard army that was themed around Brood Brothers, that'd be cool. That'd be mad spenny. You'd have to buy... Yeah. Lots of the kill team box, like trying to do a Night Lords army. Because they're still not out yet. Yeah, bad time. Um, but yeah. Oh, the Brood Brothers are, sorry. They don't make the Night Lords army. Brood Brothers, yet. yeah. Um, so yeah, two rock grinders. So four trucks, good time. Um, and then lastly, two boxes of 10 gene stealers. So these are the pure strain gene stealers. Um, obviously, you can have your, uh, what's he called? Patriarch running around with a, uh, one of these guys. Um, 300 points and 68 pounds. Proper, Je proper Levi's lifters. Gene Steeler. Levi. Oh. I was, it took me a second. I was like, what the hell is he talking about? I can yeah. see, okay, I was you, like, you can see it in his eyes, the cogs going, I tried to tick, get tick, there. Tick, 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 ding. Yeah. Uh, the lifters of the Levi's. But yeah, so overall we have a Jackal Alphas, five Atalan Jackals, ten Acolyte Hybrids, two Achilles Ridge Runners, an Abominant, a Magus, a Primus, a Patriarch, a Nexus, twenty Hybrids, uh, a Two Goliath trucks, two Goliath rock grinders, uh, ten aberrants, and twenty gene stealers. And a codex and a deck card. And a codex and a deck card. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, How many points is that? One thousand nine hundred and sixty. Have they got nothing in that army for forty points? Nope. 
B Tech mids. It's it's honestly because I, right, full disclosure, I, I really like the Nexus and I did want the Nexus in, but I wanted the big brain guy. Oh, the new one? The new big brain guy. Can't remember what it's called. Can you even buy it on yet? Nope. That's why I had to take it out. Because I was really excited. And I was like, ah, oh, the brain guy. If you're watching um, this in a month or two's time when it's released, take the Nexus out and buy the big brain guy. Yeah, board. but the big, big uh, words, brain guy. Because he's called Megamind. We'll call him Megamind. Um, because it's just cooler. Wicked little model. Um, yeah, infinitely cooler. Um, give, me yeah, the, give me the monies. Uh, the monies. It's very spenny. Um, hilariously, not as expensive as Tau, I don't think. And, and Tau was pre-price price rise. Yeah. Sounds, so, like, sounds like someone should go and put a pinned comment with all the new prices on the old ones. It's not going to be me. Yeah, I won't do it either. If, if you go back at least, what, add 5%? Uh, depending, it's between 5 to 10%. Yeah, just add, just add 5%. All right, so value in English sterling, £630 and 50p. That does include codex and data cards. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and they work out at uh, for £7.50 and 50p of that. Uh, grim. Grim. Grim, grim. Um, are you ready for hamburger tokens? Yeah. How many, how many hamburgers is this going to cost me? 1,045. We've hit 1,000 on and hamburger it's already, tokens. And it's already in dollars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Coming back down, two euros. Uh, Disneyland bucks, we've got 820. Okay. Disneyland Paris. Oh, I forgot about Florida. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, 820 euros. Um, now give us the one we're all here for. The one we're all here for. Um, uh, $1,782.50. Grin. We actually were told in the comments that New Zealand have it worse than Australia. See, I was, I was, I was aware of the New Zealand thing, and there was a part of me that when we started doing this series to go, should we go Australia over New Zealand? I was like, I can't do it. It's mm. like Australia is... It's a good comparison, but New, New Zealand is just yeah, insane. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, there's a reason why we don't hear anything about New Zealanders playing Warhammer, and that's why. There must be some. If you're playing Warhammer in New Zealand, let us know why. Or how. <laughs> are, are you rich? <laughs> Do you have all the money? Um, yeah, I mean, more expensive than Australia is absolutely crazy. I mean, it's the other side of the world. I mean, that, that'd be GW's arg argument. Oh, it's the shipping. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not that. Because they've got warehouses unless in Europe. The, unless they incorporate import tax into the price. And then an extra 20% on top of it. And then more, because stonks. Um, do we know what's coming up after those two? No, we're actually... Well... Time of recording, no. According to you, it'll be Empress Children. That's... We've got Redacted yeah, next. Yeah, okay. That's the next okay, thing I, to unpack. I got it wrong. I'm assuming... But that, imagine that, if it's not. What do you mean? Imagine if I'm not wrong. Imagine if this is like the biggest dupe from GW and they're like, nah, joking, Agents of the Imperium sounds like a terrible I, plan. I, I genuinely it's think Empress Children. That they, they, they never knew what it was. Yeah, they had no they, idea. They put a redacted in to say, look, this is what, we're going to have a codex and an yeah. army here. Everyone freaked out and went, oh, it's a clue. And actually they were just it, like, they, they were just like, we're going to release an army we haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of scrubs. I imagine they know. when we get the next AOS preview post yes. Skaven Tide leaflet challenge thing that comes in the box I imagine there'll be a 40k preview and that's when we'll find out so that's got to be in the next month then easy yeah, yeah. at the time we're recording probably, probably early which August. is the start, the start of July we're recording this are there any events at the beginning of August uh, pass cool um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, we'll have to leave it there um, thanks so much join for us for the sisters one which will be out next how exciting and thank you to the the brood of Kieran's didn't like brood, but the cult, <laughs> the gene stealer <laughs> cult of Kieran. Um, thanks so much. Uh, obviously, we couldn't do it without you. If you want to go buy some gene stealer cults of your own, or indeed sisters, or indeed anything you want, because you're, uh, you know, you're free. You can do whatever you want with your money. Um, but we do implore you to go spend it in these links below. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Give us a comment. Um, tell your friends. Tell your family. Uh, and help us grow the show because we know you're seeing them. We're a grower, not a shower. <laughs>